Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking a lot about the Pope and Revelation 13 lately, and I think that's because this Pope really, really, really seems to want the part of being the false prophet. <laughs> My goodness, I cannot believe some of the things we have seen as of late. And guys have been making a lot of videos about him, but many of the things that he is doing is scary. Now, we've talked about him making statements about uh, the vaccine, and I'm going to just leave that be. I'm not going to make any more statements about that. We've seen him making statements uh, encouraging insanity through and through, <laughs> and I mean insanity. And folks, here he is right now running into the arms of globalism. As a matter of fact, he may be one of the extension of those arms because what he is saying here is crazy. Okay, get this. He gets interviewed on a radio station. This is a few days ago. And in the radio station interview, he gets asked this question. They tell him, by the way, this is on Wednesday. They ask him what he thinks about the United States withdrawing from Afghanistan after a 20-year war and other NATO forces. And the Pope basically says that he would answer that question with a quote. Now, he got a few things wrong. Let me just simply say this. Well, he gets a lot of things wrong, but let me just simply say, even in his quote, he got wrong. First, he attributed this quote to German Chancellor Angela Merkel. And by the way, that quote didn't come from her. It actually came from Vladimir Putin of Russia. That's one thing. Number two, he literally described her before he gave the quote as one of the world's greatest political figures. Yes, one of the world's greatest political figures. Yeah, figures he would do that, right? Running towards the open arms of globalism. The ones that are going to stranglehold all of us to try to seek to cause us to fall into mass delusion of totalitarianism. Now, we've seen this. We know it's coming. The Bible talks about it. But this is what his answer is. He says he's going to quote one of the greatest political figures of all time, Angela Merkel. It's not Angela Merkel he's actually quoting. He's actually quoting Vladimir Putin. And this is what he says. He says, it's necessary to stop the irresponsible policy of enforcing its own values on others and attempts to build democracy in other countries based on outside models without taking into account historic, ethnic, and religious issues and fully ignoring other people's traditions. Hmm. Maybe we ought to just throw away what the Catholic Church did with uh, World War II and Nazi Germany. Maybe we'll just ignore all of that. Let me just simply say this, because there's a whole other thing to bring into play there. But isn't it awkward to you that the Pope continues to attack the United States of America? Why he does it the way he does it? I'll tell you why. It is something that should not surprise us on any level and why it's something we should actually be expecting to see and expecting to hear. Because the Pope is a globalist. The Pope is running towards the new world order. The Pope is going to be one of these guys who will continue to be a huge proponent of the infrastructure that's necessary in order for, yes, you got it, the Antichrist to do what he wants to do. The final Antichrist. Now, here's the thing that I think is important and one that we should probably point out right now so that everybody understands this. The reason for his aggression towards the United States of America through his speech and through his implications and through his anti-democratic republic kind of a mindset is because he understands that the United States of America is the last standing nation that is going to prevent the mechanism of globalism from infecting the world. It's the United States of America that for the longest time has been the only nation that has kept the mass delusion of totalitarianism from creeping in into the world. And even that is beginning to fall apart. Thanks to one Joe Biden. Folks, the reality of what we are facing right now is that we know that as we approach these final days, these last days, the enemy is pulling all the stops 
there will be a need for a religious leader to be able to convince those who still have a little bit of religious acclamation in them to follow and worship and hold fast to the final Antichrist. And this Pope seems to be going in that direction. Now, I'm not saying he's the, the false prophet, but he is certainly, certainly going in the direction of one, of the false prophet. I don't know what's happening with respect to him personally, but I can tell you this. Everything we're watching right now is moving towards exactly what the Bible says would be happening one day. We need to open up our eyes and watch all of this stuff. We need to be aware and we need to stand for Christ, especially in these last days. Stand for righteousness, especially in these last days because we're running out of time. We're watching it happen. And here we go again. This is exactly what the Bible said would end up happening. And we're watching it take place in front of our eyes this is the last stand, folks. Let's get our eyes open, our hearts in check, and let's continue to stand for righteousness because the days are shortening. God bless you guys.